Hey there, welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School on YouTube and today I'm going to show you, well I've shown you how to draw this one already but I'm going to show you how to paint it today. But let's not talk about it, let's do it. Well you probably saw me, I hope you've seen me draw this clown, if you haven't there'll be a, a link up here somewhere to the video which shows you how to do that and now I'm going to show you how to paint it. I've started doing this now, I'm going to do one video showing you how to draw and then another video showing you how to paint. So I'm trying to think what, what I'm going to do, I think first of all uh, I'm going to do red hair I think. So I'm going to do quite a bit of, um, I'm going to mix some, um, bit of yellow with some red. I'm just going to kind of do that kind of wildly. I'm not going to have that. And clowns tend to have white faces so I'm not really doing anything with the face. I'm going to have that as a white face clown. Uh, and then I'll just kind of drop in some stronger colour. Um, like that, and I'm going to let that dry now. I haven't thought about what colours I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do something really horrible. Um, and I'm going to paint in these stripes. Because, of course, clowns have pretty horrible colour clothes. Come on, admit it. Do you really like clowns? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I loved clowns when I was a boy. I'm not sure what I think about them anymore. And uh, I suppose some people watching will adore clowns and some will absolutely hate them. I know some people are really funny about clowns. They kind of scared of them. They find them really creepy. <laughs> now, uh, okay, what I'm going to do is that I was using vermilion for that and now I'm getting a bit of car carmine. I'm just going to drop that in on the kind of the lower bits while it's still wet and in there. And that will just add a bit of body to the colour. And while it's wet it just kind of sinks in and that gives it a bit of 3D. Um, and I think maybe I just wet that down to make it a bit thinner and I'm going to make these little pink spots. Uh, I'm wondering what colour shoes they're probably going to be. I don't know. Yellow shoes? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Make yellow shoes. So, whoop, got a very dirty palette here. Right, I'm going to make yellow shoes. Um, I haven't really thought about this. Hang on, there we go. Um, I'll just do that and then I'll maybe put a hint of kind of orangey yellow just to just kind of drop that in as a um, and then what should we make them really grotesque a bit the kind of purple purple soul purple souls it sounds like a prince song purple soul purple soul oh no um, and then we haven't got, um, so it's kind of a white face, so I'm going to give it just a bit of shadow like that, and kind of white gloved hands. I hope this is showing up, because I'm not, because I've been quite subtle with, um, with that, it's not terribly bright. Uh, and I'm just going to put a little bit just above the eyes there. Uh, we're going to want a very red nose, very, very, very red, 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 shiny nose. So I'm going to drop some. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put some stronger. I'm just going to drop that in on that side there. Then I think I should maybe just put a little bit of shadow, of shadow in there. Uh, and then I can probably just fill that there. Uh, just to fill that shadow. Okay, now I need to get this dry. So in with the hairdryer again, the trusty hairdryer. Um, I need to get that dry because if I now put other colours with that, they're going to sort of bleed in. And I don't want that to happen. So I need to make sure it's... Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I need to make sure that's dry. If you haven't got a hairdryer and you, but, well, you have more time than I do, then... Um, then you can just go and make a cup of tea and come back, or a coffee or whatever it is that you like. Now, uh, with that red, I'm going to have the ultimate bad taste t-shirt. I'm just going to have a red and green t-shirt. 
So this is a colour here called Windsor Newton. I'll use that just straight. Um, so the green and the red clash terribly usually. And uh, that will do nicely. Like that. And then I don't know what well, I think we should have a kind of a um, blue trousers with the pink. I think. Uh, how are we doing? I don't know. I know. I I know. I'm not. Um, what am I trying to say? I know I have longer to do these, but uh, I still feel the time pressure. It's really weird as I'm putting this on that that the pink um, seems to go darker as I, as I put this around as I surround those pink spots. It seems to go darker, but then the the blue will dry a little bit lighter. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. Sometimes if I'm illustrating a book or something, I will do something like this. And I'll get right to the end and go, ugh. I don't like the colours or something. And I'll have to go and redo it again. Cause, but you have to try things out. Um, a little bit more red on those kind of sock turnover bits there, if that's what they are. Um, and uh, well, we need red on the mouth as well, don't we? I forgot about that. I think that will probably pull pull the face together quite well. That will do something quite good there. I'm going to put a little bit of blue in with the eyes as well. I'm just going to put kind of blue in in a semicircle around the top, leaving the bottom white. That should kind of highlight it a little bit. Um, we'll have a oop. That was a bit blobby. <laughs> We'll have a red ball, a yellow ball, and a red ball, and a blue ball, and a green ball, why not, and I think the braces, I call them braces, uh, you may well call them suspenders, I don't know, do you, what, do you, what do you call them? Um, <laughs> I've been brought up to call them just braces. <laughs> this is a you say tomato, I say tomato thing. And uh, in England, we call these things that I'm painting now, we call these braces. Uh, which in America, you probably keep your teeth straight with braces. I'm not <laughs> no, not because we have braces on our teeth as well. I don't know, what do you call? Um, and suspenders in... England are things that ladies keep their stockings up with. And I'm not sure what they call. I've forgotten what are they call anything different in the States. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that looks just about nearly there. I, th I think I might just add a bit more kind of blue, just a bit of highlight on the hands there, like that. And maybe a little. Oh, that would be clashing, so I'll just put that in the background there. Um, maybe a bit of the sawdust in the, on the ground, something like that, and and I think that's about as far as I'm going to go. Except I might do a little bit of wish, 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 or something like that. There we go. I could always find extra little bits to do, like there's a little bit of shadow underneath there. Um, and I think we could make that a little darker around the back there. But apart from that, and there may be a bit of shadow. <laughs> I was going to say, apart from that, that's the finish, and then I immediately go and do some more. You can never quite finish. But the thing with watercolour is you have to know when you are finished, because it reaches that point where you just add one extra little layer of paint and it all goes wrong and unlike you know oil color and thing like that you can't scrape it off and start again you have to start all over again so there we go how <laughs> to paint a clown and uh if you enjoyed that please keep going back to the shoe rainer drawing channel on youtube 
and uh, I'll put some little links up here to other circus uh, videos for you to have a go at. Okay, well thanks for watching. You take care now. Keep drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.